I'm Nancy Lewis with the Independent School District and this is Inside the ISD, a behind the scenes look at what's really going on in the school district. Today we're going to be talking about two programs that help kids get fit. One of them right here in the classroom. This is how ABC for Fitness looks in a typical independent school district classroom. I want everyone to run in place. The ABC stands for Activity Bursts in the Classroom. The point is to get kids out of their seats and up and moving. ABC for Fitness is one of two programs funded by the Healthcare Foundation of Greater Kansas City designed to improve the health and wellness of students in the district. In five minute stretches spread throughout the day, students get to work out while learning. I think it's a great idea. I think that um, the more exercise that they get, the more focus they'll be able to have on their schoolwork. Let's look at number one. By including exercise in a classroom's transition times, students get the benefits of an additional 30 to 40 minutes of physical activity each day. I think with the PE program and the ABC for Fitness and the Nutrition Detective, it's a wonderful idea. ABC for Fitness in a program called Nutrition Detectives, which helps students make nutritious food choices by understanding labels, are both brainchilds of Dr. David Katz from Yale University. So I would hope every family would lend their support to programming in schools to promote health. But when we do that, we have to make sure we don't interfere with the primary mission of schools, reading, writing, and arithmetic. So we've been very privileged to work with the Independence District for several years now, implementing programs that are all about health but are also respectful of academics. And we have two programs, Nutrition Detectives, which teaches kids and their parents to identify more nutritious foods in every category in the supermarket, and ABC for Fitness, Activity Bursts in the Classroom. It empowers teachers to let kids get short bursts of physical activity throughout the day when they need it, when they're getting restless or bored or sleepy or distracted. And when the teacher would otherwise need to spend time on disciplining the little devils, instead of doing that, they can now have a highly constructive burst of physical activity with teaching superimposed on it so it actually can increase teaching time while improving health and fitness. Dr. Katz and his team at the Yale Griffin Prevention Research Center are studying students right here in the Independent School District to determine the program's impact on students. We've seen great results with ABC for Fitness over the past three years. We actually saw not only improvements in fitness and no compromise in academic performance, reduced medication use for asthma, reduced medication use for ADHD. I mean, one of the things parents should recognize is that rambunctiousness in children is normal. We all used to be that way. And the proper remedy for rambunctiousness in childhood is recess, not Ritalin. We just have to find a way to get recess to fit back into the school day, and that's just what we've done. Brandon Place. Yeah. Dr. Katz's team is the, really the premier team in the country looking at health issues of students and trying to conduct research of what really impacts them in a meaningful way. So it's, it's a tremendous honor for the Independent School District to be involved in this project. This year the project expanded to four additional schools in the district so teachers had to get up and moving too as they learned how to implement the program. Now all 17 elementary schools in the district take part in both ABC for Fitness and Nutrition Detectives. <laughs> for the students it may all just seem like fun, but what they learn about nutrition and the exercise they get today will continue to pay dividends far down the road. The health of our students and their families is so very important to us because we understand that the ABC for Fitness program, getting students out of their seats, exercising, teaching them lifelong habits of staying fit, will impact them not only now, but when they're 25, when they're 40, and when they're 60. It's really all about quality of life. And the Yale studies done right here in the Independent School District are proving both programs are paying off right now. That's inside the ISD.